Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, consider the sequence x of n is equal to negative 4 minus j5 comma 1 plus j2 comma 4. The conjugate anti-symmetric part of the se sequence is what? So here the question is asking for the conjugate anti-symmetric part of the sequence. There are two parts. We can have x conjugate odds of the signal or we can have conjugate even part of the signal. But since since they are mentioning anti-symmetric, we have to look at the conjugate odd part of the signal. So we have to calculate conjugate odd x conjugate odd. That is to find this one. We have an equation that's given by x of n minus x conjugate negative n divided by two. And if they ask for symmetric part, you have to use this equation x conjugate even part that's symmetric x of n plus x conjugate negative n divided by 2. So whenever they ask for the odd anti-symmetric we have to put this negative here. If they ask, ask for the symmetry or even part you have to put positive. Okay since we are interested in anti-symmetric we are going to use this equation. Okay here we have x of n available that's given right here. We have to find out what's x conjugate negative n. To find that one out first we have to find out what is x conjugate is. x conjugate of n what we have to do is we just have to change the sign of the com uh, actually imaginary part of the complex number. Now let's go ahead and do that. Minus 4 here we have imaginary part with negative sign so we have to turn that one into positive. So this is going to be negative 4 plus j5 and this is going to become 1 minus j2 and then we are going to have 4 because this one doesn't have any imaginary number so we can just keep it as it is. So we have x conjugate of n but we need x conjugate of negative n. To find that one out what we do is we reverse this one x conjugate negative n zeroth position doesn't change this is zeroth position this is negative one position this is positive one position so when we do x conjugate negative n what we do is we switch the plus one position to negative one position negative one position to plus one position so this is going to become four comma zeroth position doesn't change it's going to remain the same so this is going to be one minus j2 and the negative one position will become posi positive one position so that's going to become negative 4 plus j5 so this is our x con conjugate of the negative n now we have all th all the variables available we have x of n x conjugate of negative n over 2 so we can just plug it in the equation and find our final answer now let's go ahead and do that x conjugate of n is going to be first x of n that is from the equation given negative 4 minus j5 negative 4 minus j5 and then we have to subtract x conjugate of negative n so we have to subtract this 4 minus 4 divided by 2 that's the first one and the second one is 1 plus j2 1 plus j2 minus and the second one we found out right here is 1 minus j2 divided by 2 and the third one is this is 4 minus here we have minus 4 plus j5 okay that one divided by 2 now let's go ahead and convert this one minus 4 minus 4 that's going to be minus 8 divided by 2 minus 4 and then here we have negative j5 that that one divided by 2 we will get j2.5 comma here we have 1 mi minus 1 that's going to be 0 so we we don't have any real number here j2 minus minus j2 that's going to become plus j4 divided by 2 that's going to become plus j2 and here we have 4 minus minus 4 that's going to become plus 8 plus 8 divided by 2 that's going to be 4 and uh, complex number is just j5 that's 1 divided by 2 that's going to be and minus here we have minus plus that's going to become minus so minus j2.5 so this is going to be our final answer okay and that's how we find out a conjugate anti-symmetric part of the sequence i hope this helps thanks for watching